The Saturn V was test launched just twice before NASA put three men on top of it for humanity's first journey to the moon, Apollo 8. First time you do anything, it's bound to be risky, don't you think? Uh, we, <laughs> we had never left Earth orbit. We had never spent three days navigating to the moon. We had never fired a rocket in deep space. We had never gone into orbit around another planet. Is that enough first? Apollo 8 astronauts Frank Borman, Bill Anders, and Jim Lovell are well aware of the risk they're taking. The chances of coming back, I thought were, they were a little bit better than 50-50. Early morning, December 21, 1968. It's the moment of truth for the Saturn V and NASA. From inside of the capsule is a lot different than watching the launch from outside as an observer. Inside the spacecraft, very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. And about, oh, five or six seconds before launch, we could hear the fuel starting to rumble down into the engines, and then we could hear the engines start. Five, four, three, two, launch commit, liftoff. There's a great shaking and a rocking as the vehicle takes off. The Saturn V's force is literally breathtaking. Seven million pounds of thrust, burning 8,000 pounds of propellant per second. The turbine is spinning up at 20,000 revolutions per minute. My shirt is beating and it's pounding me like this and my chain is jingling in my pocket. Now that was what the sound waves did rolling into you. Saturn V's kerosene-powered F-1 engines thrust the astronauts 42 miles towards space in only two minutes. As you take off, it's very slow. So actually, there's not much of a force back in the seat. It goes faster and faster and faster, and you're pulled back more and more. By the time the first stage has burned out its fuel, the Saturn V, the size of a Navy destroyer, is moving at seven times the speed of sound. You're pressed into the seat about four Gs, so four times your normal weight. And then suddenly, uh, the engines stop and you go forward, and then the second stage lights. Good ignition on the second stage. Stage two continues upwards for six more minutes using J-2 rockets. And then, stage three, also J-2 powered, takes Apollo 8 to a height of 118 miles. The crew are now in Earth orbit. Then, at around 9.40 a.m. in Houston, Apollo 8 is ordered to reignite its stage three J-2 engine and shoot for the moon. Accelerating to 23,000 miles per hour, the three men on board Apollo 8 become the first human beings to leave Earth orbit. 